Hi and welcome to this video. We are gonna work on our spine today. So if you're suffering from back pain, which you probably are since you clicked on this video, this is the perfect place to start. I myself was suffering so much from back pain for such a long time. I had so many issues with my hips and scoliosis and through practicing yoga, no joke, I was really able to just completely heal my spine. I don't ever have any back pain anymore. So in this video, I will show you the most important and effective poses and stretches to heal your spine and free yourself from back pain. So let's get started. And we begin in an extended child's pose. So bringing the knees as wide as the mat, hips onto the heels and walking the arms long in front, melting the forehead down into the mat. And just taking a moment to arrive on your mat, taking a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. And then coming onto your fingertips, so finding a bit more of an active child's pose, extending long through the arms, pressing into your fingers, full breath in. Exhale, start to walk your hands over to your right, staying high on your fingertips, finding a side stretch through your left side body, and you can bring the left hand onto your right to find an even deeper stretch. Keep breathing into your left side body. And from here, walking the hands all the way through center over to the left. Staying lifted on your fingertips, you can place the right palm onto the left, breathing fully into your right side body. Inhale. And exhale back to center and bring the palms back underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we'll start with some cat cows. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, arch the spine. Exhale, chin to your chest, rounding, pressing the palms into the mat. Again, inhale to drop the belly, lifting the gaze, arch the spine. And exhale to round, navel in. Last time for our cow pose, inhale, drop your belly. And then walk your palms to the front of the mat to either bring the forehead down into the mat or chin and chest, keeping the hips over the knees or shifted slightly further forward. And breathing fully into the shoulders, the neck, the upper spine. And now come onto your fingertips. So again, as we just did in our child's pose, finding a bit more of an active pose, pressing into the fingers, lifting the forearms off the mat. And then slowly bring your palms down and lower onto the belly, elbows underneath the shoulders, coming into our Sphinx pose. The tops of the feet are pressing into the mat. The palms are also pressing into the mat and drawing the mat towards you. So as if you wanna slide forward on your mat, drawing the heart through the shoulders here, opening the chest, inhaling in. And exhale to bring the forehead down and then bring the feet as wide as the mat. Come onto the fingertips directly underneath the shoulders and start to coil up your spine, lift the chest, drop the head back. And with your exhale, lowering all the way down. Again, inhale to lift up, press yourself up, open the chest, head back. And exhale, lowering down. And one last time, if it's too hard, for the fingers you can just stay on your palms here lifting up staying lifted open the chest draw your heart forward inhaling and exhale lowering back down and then plant your palms and tuck your toes to lift your hips up downward facing dog starting with some movement just pedaling the feet and moving the hips from side to side and then coming to stillness. And maybe you wanna bring the feet a little bit further forward towards the hands so that you can reach 
the right hand to the left ankle so we're finding a twist now gaze goes underneath the left shoulder full breath in and exhale planting the right palm back down into the mat and switching sides left hand onto the right ankle or shin gaze goes underneath the left armpit finding your twist inhale and exhale to plant the left palm back down and then bringing the feet back to your normal down dog coming onto the toes rolling forward into your high plank and from here we lower down all the way to a count of five you can always use your knees four three two and last one coming all the way down untuck your toes and then bring your hands underneath the shoulders inhale start to peel your chest up for your low cobra no weight in the palms here so maybe you can even float the palms off the mat tops of the feet are pressing down into the mat so no lifting of the feet just yet staying for one more full breath in maybe lifting a little higher and exhale to lower all the way down bringing the right ear down into the mat just relaxing for a moment and then coming back palms underneath the shoulders lift the chest off lift the palms off the mat and lift the feet off the mat so everything is lifted up now two more full breaths inhale exhale inhaling in and exhale lowering down bringing the left ear down into your mat and for the next round we interlace the hands behind the spine palms to touch forehead is down inhale to lift the head up lift the chest up and lift your arms up and away from your lower spine from your body lifting up full breath in full breath out one more inhale maybe lifting a little higher and exhale lowering down bringing the right ear down into your mat releasing the arms by your side and last round again with the locust so palms to touch interlace your fingers lift the chest off and if it feels okay for your lower spine also start to lift the feet off the mat so the legs are floating chest is lifted let's take one more full breath here maybe lifting a little higher and exhale releasing down left ear comes into your mat And then bring the palms back underneath your shoulders and press yourself back into your downward facing dog hips up high and then again bringing the feet a little bit closer towards your hands and reaching the right hand towards the left ankle or the left chin twisting over gaze underneath the left shoulder and then plant the palm back and reach the left hand to the right ankle or shin gazing underneath the left shoulder full breath in and exhale bring the palm back and from here coming onto the toes to roll all the way forward into your high plank and lowering down again for five you can use your knees four staying strong three two and one all the way down untuck your toes and then bring your arms along by your side bend your right knee and grab the right foot from the outside with both palms interlacing the fingers forehead down and with your next inhale start to kick your foot into your hands to lift the chest off the mat finding strength in the right glutes the right hamstring the thigh muscle kicking the foot into your hands lifting the chest kick 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 one more full breath in and with your next exhale release the hands from the leg bring the foot down bring the right ear down into the mat and we switch sides so bending into the left knee and grabbing the outside of the left foot with your palms try to interlace the fingers here so you have a better grip and then start to kick your hand your foot into the hands to lift the chest off the mat 
stretching the shoulders and firing up here through the left glutes, the left hamstring, strong through the leg, full breath in. And exhale, release, bring the left ear down into the mat. And we'll move into a full bow pose. So we're now gonna bend into both knees. Try to keep the knees as close as possible. And then grab the outsides of your feet. Forehead is down. Our first bow pose we're gonna do nice and easy. We're just gonna like try it out. And when you're ready, start to kick your feet into your hands, lifting the chest off the mat and reaching up, opening here, full breath, staying strong, inhaling in, exhaling out, last inhale, and exhale, releasing down, bring the right ear into the mat, maybe you want to shimmy your hips a little bit from side to side, releasing any tension from the spine, and then coming back to our second round, so grab the outsides of the feet, knees closely together and this time we'll put much more strength into this pose. So inhale, kick up, kick your feet into the hands and try to lift the chest up, giving this pose your all, so all your strength in the spine, lifting up, full breath, stay with it, find a deep inhale in. And exhale, lowering all the way down, bringing the left ear into the mat. Maybe again, shimmy the hips a little bit from side to side. And then plant the hands underneath the shoulders and send your hips back onto the heels for a child's pose. You can bring your arms by your sides and rounding into the spine. This is our counter stretch for the back bending. So we want to release any tension from the spine and then gently plant the palms back into the mat to lift yourself up onto the shins if that gives you any pain in the knees just come to a cross-legged seat and then bring the right palm down into the mat reach the left arm alongside the left ear for a side stretch into your left side Inhale, reaching up through center and switching over to the left. Left palm comes down, right arm reaches long. And inhale, reaching up again and finding your twist to the right. So bring the left hand to the outside of the right knee, the right hand behind you, gaze over the right shoulder, full breath. And back through center and over to the left. So right hand onto the left knee, left fingertips behind you into the mat. Inhaling in and exhale back through center, bringing the hands to your heart. And I thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you're feeling better in the spine. Definitely continue to strengthen your spine. So do this video or other videos that are focused on strengthening and stretching the spine to keep improving and keep releasing any pain. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope I'll see you soon again. Bye bye.